Right, so I just picked up this um, Kentec post driver from Higher Agri in uh, Rat Cabin uh, Tipperary, just 10 minutes outside Portumna, so it's not very far from me. Very good location. Um, handy looking post driver, and it's on this um, trailed jig here. And I believe Kieran from Higher Agri was the first one um, that had Kentec. Kentech make up this um, this bit of a rig for him. Very handy. I picked that up this morning um, with the uh, the Pajero pinion over there. So if you're wondering where I got it from and you want to rent it out yourself for a day or two, um, I'll leave all the information to Higher Agri down in the description. Uh, Kieran Young is the name of the lad that runs it and he's a sound fella, I met with, met with him this morning and he has all sorts of other kit there as well disc carrows, um, he has a digger there a load of different buckets um, a low loader big Broughton uh, tipper trailer that he uses for beet harvesting and all sorts of stuff um, he has a major slurry tanker there, 2600 gallon tanker two square balers there on a trailed rig like this yoke as well um, few dumpers, dumper trailers. I know he has a woofler as well for the silage. He has all sorts of stuff, all sorts of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'll leave all that information down in the description. Higher Agri is the uh, company and um, yeah, they have all sorts of stuff. They have log splitters as well. They have a log splitter um, by the same brand, Kentec. And these Kentecs are made in Tipperary as well, Tumivera. Um, just get the information here. They're made in Tip Tipperary. There's the number. Now that took longer than it should have. Um, to get these pipes on and get the hydraulics working on the post driver here but there is some sort of hydraulic gremlins here with the with the tractor that I have to sort out it's not the hydraulic pump like a lot of people would think and um, I had a little bit of a heart attack thinking it was the hydraulic pump gone and after getting this thing out for out for the day and not being able to use it but um, Thanks to Michael Clavin, I just gave him a bit of a text there on Snapchat. I said I'd ask him uh, what way to go with it because I know he has an 895 case, similar thing, and he does a lot of contracting work and a lot of work with it. So I said he might be the best man to uh, help me out in this uh, tight situation. But he told me anyway to put the flow onto one spool and to put the return onto the other spool and put the this spool with the return into float and obviously pressure on the other spool but um, I did that with two bungee cords I'll have to well I'll leave that there on the brake for the time being but uh, the first one's in float and the back one is pressurised and that worked a treat um, so yeah, massive shout out there. So yeah, massive thank you to Michael Clavin again. Um, just came across his channel last week, and I, it was, it was the right timing. Um, he was the right person to go to for this problem. But anyway, we 
have it on now, I can I can attach the hydraulic top link and we'll get it off off of the jig. Now I get the hydraulic top link. That is some job. Uh, yeah, that is some job. Right there. Now to get it off the jig, I'm going to remove this pin. There. This lad here, by the hammer. And just the same the other side. So yeah, you can, I was using this uh, side tilt to uh, get that to uh, loosen up a bit. And there's uh, the jig, just without it on, well braced in there, and yeah, it's tied down in four, four spots, so it's not going to go anywhere. Grand joke. Huh? Therefore behind. Uh, Therefore behind the slats. Oh. Um, oh yeah. I'm gonna put a strainer there and a strainer there. Yeah. How many strainers have you? Done? Four. Oh, you have four. Yeah. I'll put one on the far side of the gate. 
Yeah. And then one at the... One at the pillar there. The pillar. And that's the four. With that one at the corner. Yeah. And then beside the steel post will just be a normal one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but he wants... He said to drive us a light one in first, so I might drive... Yeah. One of these in first. I don't know when I start the other side, though. But are you going to start over there, are you? I can start that side, yeah. Yeah. But it's just he just wants... I'll yeah. start with one of those and then do the strainer. Can we get one out there? Huh? I can't
and I didn't show going back in and going out now. Yeah. She hadn't that one cleaned out since your water light. No, filter. no, I did the service, but I haven't done the hydraulics at all. Yeah. Yeah. The feet light. Yeah. The feet for the I've been waiting to do it now. I nearly do it today now. I do it. Will you say you're going that way now? Will you change it? I might change it. I might change the oil now. But, uh. uh the filter, Tony, the hydraulic filter. No, so yeah, this was all back in April, as I said. Um, around that time, I did do the engine service, so I replaced all the fluids and filters on the engine side of things, but I didn't touch, touch the hydraulics because I knew I wanted to diagnose it further, see what was going on with the front loader. And I didn't want to go and replace the, replace the um, hydraulic filter and you know not not really knowing if it made a difference at that point i didn't have the front loader on and i didn't have the post driver there and so so i i had everything ready i had the i had the filter i had the oil i had a full drum or two drums of oil i think um for for replacing the oil so i said look this this yoke isn't working i want it to be working 100 percent. don't want to be they're knocking in the post, tap, tap, tap. Especially the big strainers, it probably wasn't going to knock them in. So I said, look, I have everything there. It was only about 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Why not go and drop the oil out of it, replace the filter, see if it makes any difference. So look, that's in the next video. You'll see, you'll see me replace the hydraulic oil and filter in, in a right hurry and you see the outcome of that as well. So. so all will be told and we'll be narrowing in on the problems here with the hydraulic system in the case 1430. Yeah. Thank you for watching, good luck and we'll see you next time.